on this day, and was that day August 31st? Yes, sir. You go to do a job. Yes, sir. And did you go to pick up keys? Um, yes, we went to his house to pick up keys, and he actually took us to the property this time instead of just giving us the GPS address because it was his personal property, and he said he had to unlock the fence for us. Okay. And this is a big property, like 95 acres or something. Something I've like read. that, yes, a sir. Big, a yes, big sir. place. And you open the gate at the road? Yes, he opened the gate at the road. Yeah, but it's at the road, and then you drive in? Yes, sir. And how far back did you drive in on this day? Um, probably about half a mile, three quarters of a mile. It's out of sight of the road? Yes, sir. Okay. And what was back there? Um, there was um, a large garage at the time. I could see that it was two-story. By the time, I didn't know what was on the second floor. There was a small, sh like, garden shed, and there was a, a large storage container. And that's mm -hmm. all I saw. When you drove through that gate, Todd gets out, opens the gate, his car drives through, your car drives through. You had not one inkling that it would be two months before you would come back through that gate and you would come back out alone. I had no idea. Not one thing cued you. No, sir. That the man you loved would die inside that gate. No, sir. When you look back now on driving through that gate and following him down the road, what's your reaction to that? I always feel like I should have known better, but there was really no way I could have. You know, we look back in hindsight and, and we, we sometimes see things that we yes, don't see the first time, but I, I, for the life of me, if you paid more attention, I don't know what it would be that you would have, have seen. Looking back, is there anything that you wouldn't see then, but looking back now, you say, okay. Yeah, after we, um, he unlocked the gate and he drove his vehicle through and we drove our vehicle through and he got back out of his car and locked the gate back behind us. And it didn't seem odd then. I figured maybe he had animals out there or something, but I, I didn't know why. And it, like, it didn't seem like a big deal. He told me it was a farm, but now thinking back, well, I mean, why did he, why did he lock the gate back? Why did he lock the gate back? So you go to this two-story structure, right? Yes, sir. And what happens then? We go inside. It's a garage, fairly large garage. Um, we go out inside. He tells us that we're going to be clearing some underbrush, that he um, made some trails and that the brush was growing up and he wanted to um, take hedge clippers and clip the underbrush. He gave us both a bottle of water. Um, he gave us both some hedge clippers and um, he said he was going to take us and show us what trail he wanted us to start on. And then we walked out the door and he said that he needed to go back in and get something. And how long was he inside? Two to five minutes. Were you standing by your car or were you? No, we parked the car probably about 100, 150 feet away from the building and we walked down to the building. But we were standing, um, the garage doors were closed and it had a, a regular door on the side and we were standing beside that door. Me and Charlie were standing there holding hands.